it's only one way to start. Four oh. defenders that have performed at VVD's level is Rio, John Terry, and Vidic. I mean, how long are we gonna act like this guy's a top <laughs> striker, man? Champions League final. We got to the Champions League final and lost to Liverpool. I'm cool. I've accepted You're that cool moved on. Worst, worst week ever as a Spurs fan. I think the true. most pertinent issue that we can discuss, and I've said that I'm not. That gonna loves a big word. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've said on this podcast. Cool you just that. said Spurs say are cool in that. turmoil. You know you want to say it. Don't let him press it. Welcome back to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. We're live and direct, live in the flesh. I even messed up the lines. That's you know my head. Yo, <laughs> hey, man's, that's how it feels. Right, so live, direct <laughs> to the ready. effect. You already hey, know it's what gonna time be a long it is. Day, boy. You better get ready. <laughs> we have we've had song requests coming. We've been inundated with song requests because it's Christmas time. You know, merry merry on all of that. It's the first song request we have. Oh, you're not gonna tell them to subscribe. No, 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 we're gonna do song requests and then we're gonna Str get into oh, all over we the just... place. No, we're gonna say it. Alright. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Chelsea! Chelsea! Come on! <laughs> Fade it out. Fade it out. Listen, Let's go. make sure you're subscribed, make sure your notifications are on, make sure you're following the individual socials. Listen, we're live, we're here. As usual, custom. You know what? I have something special to you. Hold tight. He's in. The three point collectors. Hold tight, the three point collectors. Right. Worldwide. Certain man have been waiting weeks. Yeah, listen. listen. Hold Villa. Three point huh? collectors. Villa. Villa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're shameless, no, but we no, moved. Three point collectors. Hold tight, the mandem as well. That won the three points when they needed to win the three points as well. But respect that. Massive shout out to Arsenal as well. I feel like this week, specific Today one, they get their props. And I'm still going to go into weeks. a monologue about Arsenal, but hold tight, Arsenal. Hold tight, the participants. You know, you have to participate, you know. Not everyone can get. And hold tight, the teams. Won. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a free <laughs> <laughs> You said late free point collector. Say less. Say less. <laughs> and then um hold What's tight the score. One nil. Aye. Hold tight the teams that ruined Christmas. Hold Aye. tight the teams that went out there and disgraced their families. Hold Boy. tight the teams that were eating too much cassava leaf and jello fries <laughs> and decided to show up slumped on match day. Boy. Hold tight the managers that are making excuses. Mm. Hold tight the players that are getting angry at bants. Hold tight the deflectors. <laughs> Man, some players that get angry at bands. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Who's that? Hey, <laughs> I want to hear this one. Shut up, man. That bro, Cam, focus on the game, man. Hey, hold tight Tammy. The hold, yeah, hold tight the penalty takers. Mm. Hold tight the pretenders. There's a lot of hold tights to be thrown up, but mm -hmm. listen, let's get into it. Um, obviously it's my team, so I wanna. There's a few um revelations I have. Basically, I've been reflecting. I've had time to. I didn't really take in the TL because I was driving here. You know, I had a podcast on. Didn't want to read really focus hey. and stuff. But um, oh, the like, weapons are coming out. But I mean, it's this bad boy. I mean, um, I watched. I watched the game, man. Honestly, that <laughs> game got the was... belt on his shoulder. Yeah. You know that. You know that. I said WWE ready. <laughs> but if you can zoom in on this lovely garment I have right here, you recognize this gentleman, and that is oh, a certain oh. Didier Drogba. And in his famous words, that performance was a fucking disgrace. Mm. Auntie, I know you're watching. I apologize. It's a disgrace. Because, you know, I don't usually have a potty mouth. Any people that want a future collaborate with me, <laughs> I, I have manners. This is just, I'm just very emotional at the moment. This, that was a fucking disgrace. Even if you take away the school line, it was a, um, just a disgrace. My first revelation is, as much as I, I love him, I'm not turning on him, but we have to face the facts. I don't think at this stage in his career, Frank Lampard is the man to take us to the promised land. Ooh. That's not me saying that he needs to be sat and everything, but if you look at Chelsea, out of their shells in that. if you look at That's Chelsea a as a big club, bombshell, mm. if you look at Chelsea as a club and what we need to be Terrible doing, which boy. is trying mm. to um, win titles, I just don't, <laughs> I just don't know whether, from what I've seen for the last season and a bit now, whether he has it in him to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, said turtle boy, you know, that squirtle from Pokemon. You know? <laughs> 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 hey, that was funny. Man, said squirtle. Oh, 
<laughs> into <laughs> that shell <laughs> swift. Don't kill me, bro. Oh. That's funny. Yo. That's funny. And the thing is, you know he wears turtlenecks to all them <laughs> <laughs> All them corp events, <laughs> so he's wearing a turtleneck and that, fam. And the boy he's shooting that, man. Aye, man don't kill me, no, fam. Remember when man came with his pink shirt and black <laughs> skinny tight, bro? Blam, like, you're not on that hat, bro. With the pointy nah, shoe, bro. On that point. On that point. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, like, cool you ain't got the Aladdin 7s, bro, with the yeah, snake skin, man, bro. I ain't listening cool to you today, boy. Listen, um, <laughs> nah, I just feel like um, in terms of that promised land of winning the Premier League title, I feel like it's too early for him. I feel like he is still very naive as a manager, as a coach, which kind of has been displayed this season. And not to go far off drift, let's just keep it basic to the points. If you look at Chelsea, you used to ask me last season, what's your style of play? And I was like, oh, we're experimenting, we're trying to do different things. If you ask any Chelsea fan now, what's your style of play? They can't really tell you. It's like a diet version of Liverpool when we try to play through the fullbacks, which doesn't work. And then in a few games this season, we've tried the Man United comeback Kings thing where we'll go three now down and try to shoot off. But I don't think we have the potent goal scorers that you guys have. We have forwards. I don't think we have the goal scorers or the potent force or like a Bruno Fernandes to do that. So that doesn't work. And then it just leaves you confused. And um, yeah, today was a big showing of just two stories. You had a manager on the other side who didn't play the captain. The star signing was missing. Mm -hmm. He's been under a lot of stick. Mm -hmm. um, had players missing out through Corona and whatever thing, but took it back to basics and said, listen, just show heart, put a trifecta of young people, um, young players in. Um, five shots on target, the three first shots on target went in. Penalty free kick, um, dubious goal, which looks like a banger, but they scored their chances. We didn't, they looked up for it. We didn't, they were all over us. Just, he, Arteta went back to basics. We've slated him for the last few weeks, but when you look at what he did today, Back to basics. <clears throat> I don't even know what Chelsea's basics are. If we can't play for the fullbacks, or the fullbacks are having a bad game, it's done. They were both unfit, by the way. They both shouldn't have been forced them in. I had this, them, I had this conversation, conversation with production. They both had a mare. I had this conversation with production. Ooh, production exchange. seems <laughs> of the belief that um that they're not injured. I said, based on, on the knowledge I know, Reese James was, oh, I need to have operation. Chilwell was injured. Cool. So that's two. You're playing the player who's not in form at the moment. Who's that? Werner. He's not in form. He's one of them Is players. That that... Ten games. Yeah, ten, ten games, games no goal. goal. He's not in form. You're playing him there. <laughs> that's a third person. That's just a body. Then you're then playing one of your better players out of position where he can't really do anything. That's four players basically out of it. And then you come around and say, "Oh, who's that?" Players... Playing Pulisic out was it. playing on the other side. Is like that's Pulisic's not way. He's playing on the right hand side. Bro, he's so playing coming on the right for Dortmund. No, like, no, no, no. He used to play on the right for Dortmund. Hell, like, like but let's not do this. No, 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 no. Hell, what I'm saying. Hell, what I'm saying. Hell, what I'm saying. In terms of, I thought he played on the left. In terms of where we've seen him at Chelsea, where's he thrived? Yeah, where I'm coming from. No, he's played his best football at Chelsea on the left, but he's capable of playing on the right. I hate you. So if you've played your best football, you've then moved that player who's coming back with injury now out of position for someone that's. I get big signing, but not in form. And then you've then hooked him off at halftime. What's that going to do to him? You might as well have not started him anyway. There's just a lot of naivety that I've I've seen for a while. And sometimes you think, because it's club legend and everything, you know what, we might have enough to push through. And it looks like it's not going to be enough. It goes back to the conversation we had a few weeks ago where I said, what would an experienced manager to you guys do with this team? And you said it will be managed totally differently. The question I have for you guys now is, Lamp, I feel like Lampard's done well. I'm not discrediting anything he's done. I feel like that first season, he needed the cup to kind of solidify <clears throat> something and show praise. But if you gave Ole that squad last year, would what Lampard did and what Ole could do with that squad be too far dissimilar? But I don't, I don't really know to be honest what Lampard would, or Ole would or do. That squad. If you I don't know what Ole would do, that you're squad. saying you basically brought... there's a different, more experienced managers needed now. What I, see, I just so feel like with what's going to happen now with Chelsea, right? You, what you're doing is you're putting, I don't even want to call it a project, but you're putting the future in someone's hand who's going to make mistakes. He's yeah. a young manager. He's going to make mistakes. Like everything we're seeing for him now is because he's not been through it before. The so that's not, flickering. The lights are flickering. No, he's he has to step back into the light. Mm. I said that he could go, you know, probation, he could go, <coughs> we had the patch and everything. Mm. No, he has to come back and address this this period. Because now it's like, well, we're almost at the halfway point. We're almost the at the season. halfway start of the season. Like, I think it's four European games. European campaign even, till the last severe game. Mm. You know, didn't really look that convincing. Wait, you've we've seen lost... the kind of football Sorry, manager lost... summer spend. We've lost four four games in the league now. Yeah. You've lost three of your last four games. We've lost three of the last, we've lost four. We've lost three on the road. Lost three on the road. The teams we've played as well, what 
Wolves last minute goal. Arsenal absolutely. You haven't been in. good all season, mate. It's as simple as that. Your performances haven't been good. You Even guys like have got the West away Ham three 0 was statistical. That was that was very very flattering. Statistics you know what I mean? paper over the cracks. Like, <clears throat> and again, this is where when people analyze stuff, they'll say that our oh, Chelsea have scored the most goals in the second half. They've scored um, eight goals. Oh no, three goals and eight plus occasions. But you have to look at what's going on, like. Stats and performances are two different things. The one game that I've said stuck out this season about big teams was the Seville game 4-0. Apart from the other games, haven't really done much, haven't nailed down a start in 11. And don't get me wrong, I know that when you bring loads of players into a team, mm -hmm. it's going to take time to bed it in and to get everything to work. But we have to address the same energy we'd give to Arteta or Oli or all of these guys. Like so, when, so when do you want lamps easy. to go? If if you don't see the, the long term is, me, yeah. vision under lamps, so at what point now. do you let go? Mm -hmm. should, should he be, be sacked now? Because in in reality, you could still save the season at this point if you're getting a more experienced manager. <laughs> this or is... do you wait till, like you've just said, you don't believe that he's the guy to deliver you? So do you just wait out the season, waste the season, give him January, let him splurge some do you more? Want me to be totally honest with you guys, yeah. Like what what where do, where does the buck sometimes yeah? There's no shame in saying I don't know, and I'll be real with you. I yeah. don't know because for me, I'll be totally honest. Mm, if you look at um, fence no no <laughs> no, listen, I'll, I'll explain why I'm saying that. <laughs> From what I've understood now, I don't think he can take us to win a title. I feel like experienced managers can maybe manage this squad better. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to improve in time and and dramatically dramatically become this sort of manager that understands it and everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't want to see, like, legends getting sacked, but I feel like Legend every Chelsea... Hype, man. Legend uh, I feel like every, every, sack, sack. every Chelsea fan probably feared that when he came in, you don't really move on to greener pastures. This is the risk you're you get took. Sacked. Yeah. Bro, one year under yeah. Derby. Bro. <laughs> you'll get, one you're year at Derby, sacked. this is the risk you take. I'm sorry. And Chelsea no, no, should have you. known. Like, Chelsea was so desperate almost to get rid of Sarri. They were willing to take anything. Anyone, and yeah, Lampard, yeah. they fell in love with the kind of story. And now it's like 18 months later, everyone's realising what a lot of people were telling you 18 months ago, that he's not the ready. Is, now if you don't feel like he's going to win you the title, you, in, in, inevitably he has to go. Let's talk That's about, the, let's talk about I want to touch what, on what happened go today. On. That's yeah. what I, I was going to say. Let's touch on some of the individuals, yeah. let's talk some about, of the performances. First and foremost, right, Chelsea, uh, which we've mentioned already, you guys still have not beaten a good team this season. No. Haven't beaten any respectable team no this team season. Above place. All the excitement that was coming from the the real excitement came. I don't know if Chelsea moved to second or what it was after Burnley and Newcastle. Yep. And I was laughing. Just, just before the Spurs game. Yeah. It, it, just before the Spurs game. Yeah. We're getting I was getting at it every week. I was laughing my head off. Like no. these guys are excited about let Burnley and Newcastle. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were getting it's, now, it's the Kante. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it we're gonna get on to Kante. Yeah, Kante we're gonna get on to that. Oh, and Sheffield, <laughs> <and> Sheffield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so the three of some of the worst teams in the league, they were Chelsea fans were getting excited. I said you guys haven't beaten a good team, and now here we are again. You got bopped by Arsenal, who are on relegation. Boy, form. and no, and we're gonna talk about Arsenal because it wasn't even it wasn't no. Arsenal it was got lucky. Schooling. Arsenal was absolutely schooling. schooled it you today. Schooling. And schooling. the thing Spliff is, Spliff must, bro. bro, when you look at the way Lampard set up, when you talk about Pulisic on the right, if that's the right thing, whatever, Werner, Tammy Abraham not doing anything up there. Yeah, he scored a goal, not doing anything up the there. Again, no. What I've said many, many times about Chelsea is, well, people, remember when I said to you that people said that he can't manage talent and we're like, what are you talking mm -hmm. about? Now you're starting to see because your guy Havertz is not even getting minutes anymore. What, he's jumping off the bench, getting 15 minutes. Your guy Cho, Cho who's one of Chelsea's biggest talents, doesn't even he's get minutes. Really he came on, done well. Yeah. You got, um, what's my man's name? Werner hasn't scored in 10 games. So my guy who said that Chelsea Giroud. man can't handle talent, it's looking right. You guys spent 222 million in the summer. Yeah. I bet you if you give Arteta 222 million, they'll be looking better than Chelsea look no, under Lampard. He'll build I guarantee the squad. you that. Build the squad. And I'm That's not even a fan of Arteta. 220, give he'll Arteta 222 he'll million pounds. Squad. He'll do better job he'll than Arteta than, than Lampard's doing. In my Mate, do you think Arteta's a good manager? No, no, don't just agree. You say, no, say, I'm say saying that. It. I'll say that he will build a squad. I feel like if you gave him 220, he will build. He will but what did it, didn't Chelsea build a squad? He signed nine players. Play, 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 but this is what I'm saying. So you think he got Arteta's to, a better manager than Lampard? Don't say he'll build a squad, then not think he's a better manager. Boy, do you think he's a better manager? Here we go. Arteta v Lamps. Yeah, you know what? Arteta, by the way, is beating. Was has he beaten Lampard every scored every game? Scored Lampard. No, he didn't score all it, but he scored Lampard a couple of times. Three. He's got three beaten three times. As much as people dislike 
Arteta, yeah. Answer Arteta. the Arteta. question. Is he That's what I'm saying. Manager? I think he is. At least he's sticking. <laughs> at least he goes out there and he puts like a game plan and he wants to do something. Can he, even if it doesn't work? <laughs> Yo, get to the point. I just said. Mate. I just said. Do not come with your no, Mayo Lamy no, stuff. Listen, don't come with your Mayo Lamy stuff. Politician me today, answers. Can't. This isn't the COVID announcement. Man, man can't rattle me, me today. Please, please. Man Give can't rattle me straight answer. I've answered the question. He's giving it like he's the COVID presser. Man can't rattle me. It's not I've the COVID answer. presser. I've answered the question. Well, is it Arteta or better man? I've answered it already. I've answered it already. All right, okay, can you answer again? We didn't know. If you didn't hear it, then go back to the recording. I can't be rattled. <laughs> is Arteta a better man than I've answered it already. I can't be right to you. No, no, here we go. No, I've already answered it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Let cool. us know in the comments. So What's the next? <laughs> so anyway, anyway, ha- what did I always say about Chelsea when in these type of games, yeah, like people were talking about, oh, um, Kante this, Kante that, world class this, posting sofa stats, sofa score stats. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get no DM Interceptions. today. Interceptions. In, Bro, all these games, all these bigger games that Chelsea have been at, non-existent, bro. Again today, non-existent, fam. And to be honest, he was he was losing the ball. He was getting rattled. He was then he ended up getting moved to number eight. It's so funny that how come when Chelsea want to get into a game, they bring Jorginho back into to six and move Kante out. Minutes. All this best number six in the world talk is such cap, fam. And you, people just stop glories, it. Bro. You know the best six in the world. If you were the best six in the world, do you think Barcelona would ever be like? Do you know what? Oh, we're we we are struggling to get a game now. Oh, Busquets, um, go number eight, please. And we're gonna bring on T- we're gonna bring somebody on Keita. We're gonna Someone bring on play your Keita position, to play yeah. DM. It's not gonna happen, fam. He's not the best DM in the world. All this talk about best DM is it's just cap. And again, today, non existent. So what have you got to say about that? Because you were one of the people that were excited after the Burnley, after Why the man them line on after the name. Sheffield don't United. Lie. Don't bro, lie. I know you were. We're not bro. gonna do less. When I was if in we're the gonna group do chat, we're not gonna the man them were, were, were happily posting nah. and ch- bringing who, who posting posting? their chest, boy. Who was so posting? Can you just answer, posting? Me? Can you answer? We're not gonna do less. Can you just answer? If we're gonna go for we're not gonna do less. That's what I don't like. I don't like that. It's only every week. I'm gonna answer, but listen, let's get to facts. Let's not do less. Can't say no. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Kante Kante's performance today wasn't up to par, but most of those guys, the only person that can hold his head up high was Cho. Cho came on and put a performance, and you have to think about okay. You need your best players to turn up in these types. Bro, of games. listen, you need is, like, you need to give the Arsenal need. players some credit. Yeah, well. no, no, of no, course, will, of course, we'll we get to Arsenal. Listen, like, with Arsenal, we've we have to give them their respect, and I still need to give them but an apology. Golo. But Chelsea's performance and Golo's performance, hmm. listen. It's not good enough, man. Like, even if this was one of them games, when you're playing a team like Arsenal in that sort of position, if you score early goal, early two goals, the game's done. Like, go in there, get in their faces, boom. Oh, they're not on it. They're fighting relegation. There was nothing. They had the ball from minute one. From minute Bro, one to seven, it looked like, you know what? They were okay. the only ones that turned up and it felt like a derby to them. Chelsea turned up, had the, opportu- had the opportunity to go second. Big game. You're Didn't, thinking this is a time when this team who rubbish. all this money has been spent into are supposed to turn up. Players like Kante that's, with that's these experience are supposed though. to it's turn up. This is the thing. It's, it's like the, the same thing the, the, last the Wolves couple game. Of... It was like the same thing. Like you can midweek game, you can yeah. do something. Didn't do anything. And again, that's when you have to start looking like, yeah, it might be a managerial thing, but the players, the mentality there is probably not there. Like, so the, what are we the saying pa- about Werner then? For me... I said it to you guys, I think it was last week, in terms of if he's not informed, don't play him at the moment. Like, because at the end of the day, he's just going to be a passenger. The thing is, uh, had you not been pasted today with Cho starting, I know there would have been a Cho agenda saying, mm. why is he starting yeah, Cho again, in a no, big no. game like this? I heard that, but, but as a manager, the time, we said it those before. Those are the kind of risks you've got to take. As a manager, you have to so put your... That's what I said. Emil Smith role. No, that's, that's the Literally. first thing I said. He came out and said, "You know, what? I'm going to play the youth trifecta. Yeah. I'm going to go with it. I'm not playing you've my captain. Brave you've got to put. Games, you've got to put as a manager at this level. You have to put your balls on the table and say, you know what? Listen, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. If it goes wrong, it's on me. Like at the end of the day, Havertz and Werner, we've seen that their form is not great. Okay, cool. Take them out of the firing line. But if you're playing players that are not in form on even basic touches, every because we're not going to say that these guys are bad players, but everything's going wrong. You're carrying passengers on the pitch. It's like that is and the thing yeah, is though, yeah, that is even though the facts. the game was like done and you can say Arsenal scored three goals. No, it was when the it was Havertz, three one, the Havertz decision. No, but when for it was me, three one and then the penalty comes, I feel like if that penalty goes in, there's still another five or six minutes. No, before Jorginho that, the with game, this J jump bullshit that he does no, all the time. Before we get to, before we get to please, that, I want to address the it's borderline address criminal. The substitution. No, everyone can be Bruno. And, no. and, 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 I wanna, <laughs> like DMs are not meant to have trademark penalties. 
Listen, that, with all leave of, that to the forwards with all and then manage. Year, man's not even good Bef- at his own bro. attributes. With before this year, <laughs> the, um, for me, the thing that's more known for me is the habits coming on instead of Giroud. For me, it was like kind of like, okay, you know what? We're not going to come back into this game. Let's just get him some minutes, get his confidence up. That was me when I was like, whoa. Get his confidence up in a free, in a like, free no, one. Just get him, <laughs> let him get some touches on that. Like, like this you... is a reserve game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get him <laughs> like, Why would you... you but that's that... the in-game management of Lamps we talk no, about. No, but that's what I'm it's saying. True. For me, it's not that, is, that is naivety. Like, this is a throw team. There's still a game to be won here. You bring on a player that is short of confidence. Mm-hmm. That's not going to do anything. Well, and when he came on, like I, I didn't understand that one. I didn't at all. Well, the thing and is, then if like, we, if if what people want to talk about stats, because people are talking about stats, Giroud is the one player that scored all of our recent away goals. So like I, I don't know. Even the way we're playing Tammy with the crosses, today as look, well. we can say we, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But we can Boy. say about like we can say about Havertz and Werner and all this. And this is this is what I don't like Please. because it's now going to start becoming a thing. That it's Havertz and Werner issue. It's no, not, no, no. Tell me what Chelsea player other than Giroud is actually playing well. None, none of really optimizing Mendy, that he was level. A star keeper Mendy. the last couple James of weeks. Ch- Tiago Silva's been James playing well. In terms of in recent, no, no, no. In recent, no. Three losses in the last four. So if you lose come, three come, last four, your defense ain't playing well. Mendy's been getting paraded around like the best thing ever. Up until now, which ties into kind of stuff that's been said before. Up until now, you can say that James was doing well. Got absolutely until ripped today, apart got by Tierney ruined, today. Got ruined mm. today. Tierney was having too Chilwell, much well, there's a few question marks in the big games. The defensive two were doing all right. Mendy, up until recently, there's Never been a couple of mistakes now. Never for me. There's been a couple of mistakes now. But it goes right. back to what you said about the teams, the opposition you're playing. Exactly. Does it count as there's a, does it count as a good a performance okay. if you're playing against a team that the striker has one shot against you? That's the, the thing we have to start looking at. But I'm not going to... You can't rub it out in terms of like a defence. Can you start saying it's a good game because the only opposition had like two shots like that? If you've not been tested, is it a good game? Bro, all it is is that Chelsea lapses. got. All it is is that we got Chelsea, bodies. We got bodies. We got bodies. This we is got body. At the end of the day, we Chelsea got fans bodies. got massively excited. This is and I don't care what no one says because, as I always say, the reason why I'm on Chelsea a, a lot of the times is because all of the overhype talk, all of the the fans are too loud. It's always Man United and Arsenal. Mm-hmm. It's always. No, Chelsea fans have been so gassed lately, bro. So gassed with Facts. everything that's going on. We got the best defense in the league. We got Mendy. They're bringing all these clean sheet stats when you're playing against teams like Newcastle, who didn't even have a shot. Sheffield. One of the worst performances Burnley. I've ever seen in my life. When you Chelsea, were calling you out for Zuma. they were calling me out for Zuma. All Did this stuff. Three today? losses in their last four. When <sighs> oh, Kante's back, best DM in the world. Your team don't look solid at all. Remember when Chelsea were back? We're solid now. We got Thiago in, Zuma. We're a solid team. You've lost three of your last four. The team, the fans got massively over, got massively excited, overhyped their team. And now they're trying to backtrack by blaming it all on Lampard. You guys loved it three weeks ago. Don't try and now start. Now everyone's like, oh, Lampard. And out. they're blaming it on you Lampard. Were guess, they were talking about potentially we can win the title. Don't try Chelsea fans are going to now try and say we top never four. said that. That's what's going to annoy Now they're going to say no, no, they no, no, said no. they can win the title. No, no. Bro. And now they're going to backtrack. The it's so sickening, bro. Because yeah. if it was United and Arsenal fans, we Facts. will never see the end of the reality. No, no. Memes will be coming Facts. out. This what? will be coming out. Oh, yeah, TV. And this, this, this. And how many times have we said yet? How many times have we said the amount of money Abramovich has spent? He didn't spend that to finish top four this season. He spent it to he didn't, compete. He and spent do it to damage. actually compete but and no, be what, up there. Come, what you're saying is, you're right, and it goes back to having f- good form and being a well-established team are two different things. It's like when Liverpool lost their one game, everyone thought, "All right, it was over." No, they just had a blip. Chelsea's loss today wasn't a blip. We've lost three out of four games. Liverpool lost that one game, and the whole world melted. It was like, "Oh my God, they're they're finished," and like. The energy you give, you have to be able to apply that energy back to yourself. Like, what's going on at the moment is not good enough. It's not good for the players. I feel, again, like you're going to say what you're going to say, but I still feel like managerial, there's a lot of naivety. And after the Wolves game, I called back, I called for, you know what, let's show something. Didn't show anything. This has happened now. Is, like, look, what, now you're in a situation, saying, sorry, bro, 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 sorry, one second. Now you're in a situation now where you go to Villa next, who are in form, smelling blood. You then go to City. What happens now is you run you scared of mis- Villa. No, I said Villa. Don't tell me you're scared of Villa. I'm not scared, but Villa was a good team. Oh, you're telling me Villa are not playing well. You shouldn't be scared. Bro. You should, no, no. I'm saying, no. You shouldn't be scared. I'm saying the Villa are the playing villain. well. Yeah, no, no. So you've lost 3 1 <laughs> to a team who's 15th. You're so you've lost 3 1 to a team that's 15th. Yeah. You're now playing Villa. Arguably, Villa are a better team than Arsenal right now. So now you have to try and rise again. And then you have City. So now you're in a situation it's where. so funny. 
this can but very everyone quickly everyone focused on Arteta getting sacked but, but, I, <laughs> yeah. I get what you're saying everyone's no, focused on Arteta getting my question, sacked my thing before is, this game but, my thing is and this this is why I always say Chelsea are the most fickle fans yeah people can talk about Man United and Arsenal fans we're actually weirdly loyal United and Arsenal fans to our people Chelsea are the one club First of all, you're the second club of the, of, of football. The First Premier of League, all, yeah. you're the ones that turn on your greatest managers like Jose Mourinho and all these lot. It's Chelsea fans, mm-hmm. right? Now, Chelsea fans went from, we're, we're potentially going to win the title, we're going to do all of this, to Lampard out in within three weeks. At least United fans, it's been a long time of Oli, bro. We've yeah. had a long time yeah. of poor. We're like, yo, this is not good enough. To Arsenal fans, it went dramatically bad. It went to relegation. Come on. Of course, they're going to start saying Arteta out. Yeah. Chelsea fans go from, we're going to win the title, then three weeks later, Lampard out. Yeah. How is, you're the most fickle fans the thing, in the No, 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 no. But I'll tell you this year, one second. Well. I'll they tell you this year. Every single manager they've had. 100%. And why, and why they've they've do had. they do it? Because it works. Which is why I keep coming back to the thing is, how long do Chelsea give Lampard because their success always comes from sack the manager as soon as it ain't going wrong, get a new man in. Goose Hiddink's still there waiting on the side as you put out today. It's one of them ones. Listen, Lampard right now is in trouble. I, I The way I, I see bling. it. If anything goes <laughs> wrong in the Champions League, next couple of fixtures go south. I don't know. It could look peak for him. As you said, you can't see him take it to the promised land. I've been saying this and Chelsea's culture of sacking managers... Boy, I can see it continuing. Most, bro, most fickle fans in the country. I can see it continuing. It. They get away with it because their their fan base ain't as it, prominent, as loud prominent, as the United prominent. and Arsenal fans. But them Chelsea ones. I'm and believe me, now, I, did we think Ancelotti now. could get sacked? Jose, first time he couldn't get sacked. Do not think Lampard is above being no, sacked. He's by not. The only reason well. I thought he's that Lampard might survive it is mm-hmm. because the conditions. Abramovich, not even the conditions. Forget the conditions. Abramovich has a real love for the old guard. Yeah, Chelsea, the player. He gave Czech a job. He told Drogba he has any, he can have a job for life mm-hmm. at Chelsea. He gave Lampard a job. He's given Joe Cole a hey, job. It's He's business, Cole not a personal. Job. No. It's Paolo business. Do you know what it is, yeah? He it's absolutely business. loves... I hate him, Mac- but... Didn't he offer Makaleli a, a He's job offered, at one point? Oh, every surprise, He absolutely yeah. loves the old you see with all That's of this the only reason. Year. You see with all of this, yeah? If Pudicini we go back to... At the, at the club. Yeah, goalkeeper. If yeah. we go back to last season, one of the fairs was... If he doesn't finish top four, he doesn't win a trophy, what can happen? At the end of the day, I don't feel like you're a Chelsea manager if you don't feel that fear of if something doesn't go right. I could be sacked because that's how the success has come at the end of the day. I know that in his situation now, he's probably thinking, okay, I need to make this work because suddenly this can look into something else. I don't know, based on what you're saying, I don't know if they he would sack him mid-season. And again, like I said, I'm not calling for sacking, but I have to be realistic in terms you of... called for it, mate. Lampa- no, I said You've in terms of Lampard. You said, you said Lampard out now. You've called for it. Too late. I said Lampard. I said, so you, I said out of his taking... You said it on the tape, time. right? The, the the I said I don't think he's taking his promise. Remember when, remember when they'll always be using like Oli as the, the example as of a, a bad stick. manager. Yeah. Lampard's no better than Oli. Hey, bro. PE teacher? He's no better than Lampard. Supply no teacher? Than Oli. I'm sorry. So Ari? Not. What was it? Bro, was History? It yeah, was, <laughs> so Ari? The geography teacher, um, Arteta and Ari. Uh, Oli's the IT, PE teacher. IT teacher. Food tech. Food tech. Bro, he's a janitor. He's a janitor. Nah, he's He's a janitor. He's the, you remember when your class hey, opened talk, the keys to the his hair, room? His hair is stinning, bro. His hair is stinning. Today when I look at I know it, I said, bro, he's stressing. Hurting, nah. Stressing. Things, yeah. Before you lot move to Arsenal, I wanted to ask Maze one question. Go on. <laughs> do you think you're going to make top four? Mm. I do. I do think we're going to make top four. Who's the top four? Ahead of who? United or Spurs? Leicester. Leicester. United. Spurs. <laughs> top so four this year is tense, out, right? you know? Two have to miss out, yeah. Two have to miss out. Still, so what, City are, are we saying City are bankers? Uh, City, so City Liverpool, are definitely are we Liverpool, out. Liverpool and I, I City are bankers. I think City will make it. City so are Liverpool bankers and, City are... and it's Liverpool. So who are the others? Yeah. Leicester? So Leicester, United, Chelsea, Spurs. Mm. So there's four there. Leicester. We should have Spurs. enough to make it. I say United as well. <laughs> you think United are not making it? No, I think United are making United it. United who? I think Chelsea. United and Chelsea are making so it. Yeah. So, you think, out, yeah? so you think Jose are making it? Saying nothing. I feel like Chelsea. depending on how your season's but, going, yeah. you might prioritise Europa League or something. Mm. I've seen him do it before. Hey. Say night. Yeah, I've that's, that's a good point. But I've seen him do it before. Enough. That's just in the moment. And, but, um, right, let's give the big boys the credit, the, the, listen, the credit, man. The reason why Arsenal deserve credit, yeah. In fact, before even going to credit, Arsenal fans, I would like to apologise because I've given a lot of personal slander to your club in the last six, seven weeks. You know what I mean? In the last six, seven weeks. So, but the reason why... Stay weak, bro. (laughs) The reason why they deserve credit here is, I think there's two things. I feel like, you know, hold tight the part of the fan base 
that actually wanted to win because there was loads of them that said, yeah, if he loses, he's getting sacked, which mm. I always think is a bit dumb. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I'm just been in them. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, nah, he's yeah. been at the front stuff line like of them. That, <laughs> stuff like that is, is mad to me. But the performance was, that's a strong performance. Yeah. That's a strong performance. And I tweeted, I said, all of these Chelsea channels, whatever, influences and everything, look inwards. Don't go and say, oh, it's Boxing Day or, oh, it was this and that. They came to their ground and said, you know what, we're going to defend our integrity. They played. They had integrity. Mari at the back. Who, how many games has he played? I think that was his first start of the season. Bro, first and start of the season, isn't it? It's perfectly fine. Perfect well, fine. you till that penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah till that. But yeah, for the most of the game, like, when you have a game like bro, that... Bro, I was cool. laughing. when Because when I seen Holding and Pablo Mari starting... You're I thinking, thought, yeah, you know what? They this are is, about this, to this get packed. Like, We've seen this Chelsea attack yeah. or whatever. You and think it's time. Bro, they but Tierney's well, Tierney's on them guys for the last few weeks, but especially hey, production. production. People have wanted his head, and today the performance, that's a that's a really good performance. That's, really that's good the performance. Tierney, I think everybody's that's a really used to. good performance. He's a good player, man, but even like a that good player in a bad squad. That trifecta of young <laughs> talent they had, Saka's performance, like these hey, guys, talk about guys. They like, turn up. Quality. The, the, the Hayland, they they wanted it. But sorry, but what I wanted to add as well is. That's why, again, people always cast managers and coaches, but you have to give credit where credit is true. Those young players he played today, maybe they wanted it more than the other guys. Even Shaka deserves a credit, some credit today Darby because passion. that's someone that... Pe- bro, bro, that's someone that people are, oh, we've had enough, we don't want him to wear the shirt. Played some good passes, scored a free kick. Like, guys turn up today. Boss so, Kante. Boss. Boss. Don't worry, they'll lose to West Brom next week, but... Just, <laughs> no, but you have to give credit for the, nah, because how many today. games has yeah. it been? Seven games about that's their longest. Like El Nenny and Shaka were similar looking last like a few weeks ago when we yeah, said, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. But against the streets, United game where we were like, without a win, they look solid. seven games. So imagine if you've not won for seven <laughs> games, both yeah. lost to them, bro. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how we lost to them, but it's it's <laughs> oh when you, they just cl- they yeah. both lost to us. <laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> when you won a game for seven games, like that's a lot of pressure, man. Fans or no fans, that's a lot of that's a lot of like on your shoulders. And they came out and they mashed works. They mashed like hella works. You know so is, credit to them. When you look at when you look at Arsenal, obviously some players are missing. Right, but do you know what the thing about Arsenal was today? It was playing, it was playing players that are. It's not even the play, like obviously young players always want it more, innit? They have more fearless. It's not the they don't hungry. want it more, but they're a bit more fearless. Follow less instruction, and they kind of just do what they want to do. So that kind of worked out for Arsenal. But it's not only that; is it was the profile of players, bro. You've got a proper actual striker in in well. Like in in Lacazette played, but oh, he's Martinelli not playing the was 10. getting very yeah, he's yeah. in ten. Martinelli was up there, oh, right? His socks off by the way. You've got he you've got Saka on off. the right wing, and you've got Saka on the right wing. He was moving the ball progressive, and what you actually had finally, Arsenal had is uh, an, is had Smith Rowe 10, in yeah. this is Smith Rowe in the team, and he yeah. was getting the ball behind Kante so many times. Mm-hmm. He was finally a player yeah. who, which now I get obviously Arsenal fans will be thinking, imagine that was Ozil all season. Hey, you mm-hmm. never know, but you got a player that can actually progress a football, bro, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden. It was profile of players over names. All the names of Bamiang on the on the bench. William David wasn't Louise there. wasn't there. Willian, Pepe, all the little the names that are just doing nonsense around weren't there. It was players that actually fit the profile of a team that want to go and win a football match. Do you know what I mean? I felt like, I felt and like it, Shaka it and out. El Nini as well. It was perfect to mm. play against Mount and Kovacic in profile wise. Just because they're not going to be the kind of midfielders that break into the box. They know yeah. they can just sit there and sit just kind of mop up, up everything yeah. there. It just makes it easier for them. Yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. But even the fullback performances, I just feel like in terms of their whole team performance. Martinelli, it, yeah, Martinelli credit, credit as well. Should have given a better. No, that's what I said about Martinelli sec- that he sec- grafted. Was it second game back or yeah, something like that? First game he looked good. good he he's like a proper off. striker. Yeah, something that Chelsea. Have, I mean, off. Arsenal lacked. I know they got Lacazette. Aubameyang comes in there with this setup at Arsenal. It doesn't really look at like it. Suits him. Martinelli is a bit more. But if Martinelli plays in, and Aubameyang maybe goes back to his more left, and they might find his form again. I feel like what will happen is Saka on the right. It's you you have that, but what then happens is it goes back to to, if they're not performing, it goes back to the conversation of why is other playing out wide? We need them up top. And no, no, no. no, I think that was when Martinelli was missing. I think Martinelli can give something. No, I hate. But as well now, I think this kind of gives Arteta a bit more of a lease as well. I think especially going into to Jan I think now the board almost have to give him to Jan I think regardless over the next couple of results yeah, yeah. I think a game like this it's kind of a tip to say that people are saying he'd lost the dressing room or whatever mm. I felt like this was kind of a game to say the players are really behind him and for me I think giving him to January to maybe sign one or two more players 
I don't see the harm in it. Sometimes you stumble into results. Sometimes you stumble into, into something a team, yeah. that works out. All mm-hmm. of a sudden, you stumbled into. Wait, Saka should always be playing right wing. Why? Mm-hmm. Why is he playing? Yeah. Where, why is he? Why are we trying to accommodate Willian? All of a sudden, Martinelli's at back up there. Um, Smith Rowe, he's given a good account of himself. All of yeah. a sudden, you're like, hold on, maybe with this formula we can go and do something. We're not saying now Arsenal have turned the corner, yeah. But now you can look it at can it and kick be like, start, maybe especially they can when go it's and a result. When you slot. get a result like that in the derby game, Boxing Day, back against the wall, like that does against something. Against title challengers, yeah, exactly against a team that is is supposedly flying at the top. What happens yeah. is it kind of gives you, you know what we can beat the rest of these guys. Like we can actually perform. So yeah, for them. Like you said, it's not the turn of the corner because we still need to see the next game against Brighton. But it's something to give them some sort of enthusiasm to say that, you know what, we're, we're, maybe it's not a relegation fight. Maybe, you know what, we can pick up from here. And that's what I said, football's mm. so quick. As they're having that moment, Chelsea having that moment in terms of the next two games, boy, mm-hmm. it can get dark. And that's the that's the wonderful thing about the Premier yeah. League right now. All it takes is two or three results and you can go from being where you think you're kind of nice and all right to being in a dangerous place. And that's why consistency trumps Bro. everything. Yeah, you got to take, when you talk about, I just looked at the table, everything. we're eighth. <laughs> no, yeah. no, but when you on the real, change when quick. Liverpool, yeah. and I'll back to <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool lost that one game and the whole world went mad. Yeah, they had it injuries. Seven, two, innit? Yeah, no, of course. They didn't but, even have injuries. Van Dijk played. No, no, but I'm saying after that, in terms of the games, it's like, oh, they're playing better. scrappy. We're going to, we'll talk about that. They win, they they win against West Brom, they're six points clear. No, no, but people saying, oh, they're playing scrappy. It's not the same. But the consistency they were just getting results, getting by. And now they're in the position they're in. City, for me, are having that moment that Chelsea had where it's kind of like you're playing these teams that doesn't really matter. Mm, you can kind pad. of get a Stat few pad. goals and everything. And it looks all right. No, was it clean sheets? Mm. John Stones and Diaz, they were saying clean sheets. Let's see what happens when they have to come up that place and face another team. Do they have the same and thing? they got Everton and Chelsea next. Yeah, I'm saying back, does, so does, what that happens be a test. If they lose two games, what are we going to say there? Are we going to start talking about certain things? So it's, a, it's an interesting... Um, but I want to heal up. I want to, you see, oh, it's good because you said, hey, lend it. But I want to heal up um, Saka. I think for a while now, other than Aubameyang, he's the only player when you look at Arsenal that can really say, do you know what? I deserve to play for the club. Tierney, in my opinion. Tierney. Tierney, yeah, maybe because he shouts after the game. But <laughs> you, yeah, but Tierney, you know, no, I agree. But with, with, with Saka, right? He's, con- you know what I said? Remember I said in the group chat, he, he reminds me of, of Yanyazai when in 2014 with United under Moyes, where we had Rooney Fearless. turning up and everyone else was dead. But then Yanyazai was just like this, this, this glistening star who amongst was like, the yeah, trash. This yeah. kid who was actually every week giving us something to be like, do you yeah. know what? You deserve to play for the club. Obviously it didn't work out for him in the end, mm-hmm. but with Saka, I look at it and I, it's the same thing with him. You look at him every single week, even if he's not having a good game, he's just he's always looks like Arsenal's man. player that's going to do something. He's just yeah. ever and dependable. Think, yeah, and when you think that he's what? How old is he? 18, 19? Yeah. 19, that, that's okay. very impressive. I'm not going to go around and start saying he's the star boy of this, whatever, but I no, think Arsenal fans, they've got a good player in him. He's, and the ability to play in multiple positions. Yeah, no, he's just, he's literally well. like, he, he. But I always he just always wonder comes... where his best position I is. That's think that I think that as well. I think there's going to come a point with him where it's going to, what's his best position? Where's his best right? I think coming off the right today, we saw maybe that's the position for him. I think on the left, he's looked comfortable as well. At left back, he's looked comfortable. I think he's even looked better at left back. At left back, yeah. He looks at left wing. But then sometimes he's looked good at centre mid. So it's a case of for me, the versatility helps him because in England, I think it will definitely help him get mm-hmm. a position I think with but Arsenal they need it mm. no I feel like with with that sort some of point profile you mentioned Yanezai right? it. but when you've got Ateta it's, very, it's mad similar to Zay if, if Ateta right? is like the Not future yeah, yeah. and they're staying with him it comes to a place where players like Saka that sort of profile you not build a team around them, but you put them into account in terms of okay, I need to figure, I need to put you where you feel best, and then mm-hmm. I get everyone else around that. So I don't know if, if he's going to be shoehorned at left back. I feel like he would end up playing where he thinks is the best, and then you, you then accompany everything else after that because how many he came into the squad what Europa League last season was ever dependable came into the Premier League team ever dependable even when shit was going bad he just always shows an account for himself even when people say he has has had bad games he still shows you something so he's got credit in the bank in terms of how January comes I feel like he's he's definitely like the first name of the team sheet 100% you're you're, you're not a great team if if Saka is your leading star, and that's no disrespect to him. So Arsenal need to get players that are better than him anyway. You of should course. never have your yeah, 18-year-old. Yeah, but You're not like generational, like Wayne Rooney or something. No, no, so, but I feel like but, he's got yeah, credit in the bank whatever. to kind of build a, a, um, kind of with him anyway. But um, let's talk about um, 
there's an interesting topic that's come from production about um, um, Anthony Martial because of his performance. Tony. Um, hey, Tony. First, first and foremost, hey, in terms of that game, I've seen like a lot of United fans go like it's the end of the world. Like it's the French dude. Less the uh, decent team. Now, you, you know, you, you know, is, all it is team. with United is that it's very cir- it's circumstances. It's circumstances. You can't go 2-1 up in the 80-something minute and then, then still concede. And yeah. it goes back to what I was saying last week is First and foremost, Rashford had two golden opportunities which he oh. should have taken. The first one, the first especially, one, yeah. the first yeah. one is the one you you, you have Criminal. to score. Second yeah. one, we might want to say uh, Schmeichel, whatever, but the first one is a golden opportunity. Early but in the, the game the, as well, the situation with Man United is that when you get chances, you got to take like ninety five percent of them because you, the next one might not come, and it's not even about the next one might not come. It's the defense are never going to bail Man United out. Mo Salah can miss three, four chances a game if he wants to. If it's going to be a tight knit game, Liverpool are gonna shut up shop. I yeah. think and, 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 and things are and things are nice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But when you look at Man United, if Rashford's gonna miss two chances, you can't rely on this defense. Bruno puts us through two one, eighty something minute, and you still can't hold out. And what I said last week is this stuff isn't sustainable because if we're gonna try and do any type of title challenge. But it's going to have to be in some Liverpool 13, 14 way. And you're not going to win a league conceding 50 goals. You can see the 23 goals in 14 games. You're never going to ever do anything successful in that way. So, But is that defence thing, is it personnel or is it managerial? I think it's personnel and I think it's managerial as well. Because what Oli's trying to do is he's trying to put two DMs in because we haven't got one DM. We haven't got one good DM. So he's trying to put Fred and McTom as some like destructive duo. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And... It's, 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 it's worked he's trying to cover times, he's trying to cover it's flaws. worked at times at it's times worked. it has worked at times like against some teams it can work against but you can't look Paul Scholes made a good point you're never going to do anything if you're not playing your best players eventually Yeah. you can't United are not going to win a league or with make Pogba a serious title challenge with Van der Beek on the bench Pogba on the bench Cavani on the bench like it's, it's not going to happen. But you know, you don't want to be James, putting Jesus square Christ, pegs into wanna... round holes just because yeah. they're big names yeah, just course. because they're talented players that's the thing I feel like like especially this year, I don't know what was that thing that we threw up on 360 to say that over the calendar year, Oli is Ollie arguably wins, the yeah. second, second best record. Best, yeah. So it's like clearly he's doing something right in games. And even to get you lot to this point right mm. now, I think he's done well. Obviously losing in the Champions League. Mm, but really. I don't know. I would say your defense is definitely more of a personnel the, issue. I think for sure. You can I think pros- you look at Lindelof, mm. four seasons in or whatever, yeah, still yeah, kind of iffy good. about him. Enough. Like Maguire, yeah, he's kind of improved in things, but no, really. never living up to that 85 million. Wan Bissaka, we always say fairly limited fullback. <laughs> Luke Left Short, back, six years in. Got a so it's it, like the reason why you got to question it is because. This is the same team as last season. Mm-hmm. And last season, people say we didn't defend well, right? Yeah. But, but you had we conceded the records of 30 were... yeah. something goals. Mate, we're nearly catching up with how many goals we scored in half the season. <laughs> so it's got to be something's going yeah. wrong. Something is True. going wrong there. We're completely... We're... Last season wasn't the most amazing defensive season, but mm. somehow statistically, you know... It's getting, have... it's this season, worse. it's like... Bah, 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 bah. And in... So I don't know what it is. I feel like last season you lot were more deadly going forward as well. I don't know what it was. I feel like yeah, this season you lot look a bit yeah. more blunt. Was, I, and I, feel, was, and I think that has a knock on effect I with defenders. When, when you know your strikers are scoring, you're kind That's of a little a, yeah. bit more secure. But when and I, I look, feel look, like this season you look at Greenwood mm. off the boil. Martial, mm. we're in Christmas. One goal yeah. the whole year. Like, Discuss that. Yeah, yeah. So this is the thing. That's the thing. When you look at it, right? I agree with what you're saying. But when you look at the statistics... I'm not too sure, maybe because City scored, maybe you can check it, Maze, and Chelsea might have, I, I don't know, but Maine had one of the highest scorers in the league. We're You've like got 30. 30, and then who's, who's got, obviously Liverpool, I think, got more. You know, stat padded with that Palace game. But what, what Palace game? The one, no, nah, last week Liverpool was it? got 36, Chelsea yeah. got 30. We got 30. Leeds, that was it. Yeah. City have only got 21, Mertin. See, really see this got the thing. So, goal scoring wise, somehow we're still scoring, but it's being a bit more spread out. But then this goes into the point. The reason why you're probably saying that is because the goals were coming a lot from our front three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Rashford, Greenwood, after after lockdown, right? And Bruno obviously came in. But as you just touched on, 30 goals have been scored for Man United. One has been scored by our number nine. Bro. You can't, you, you can't have that. Goal and difference you of put seven. Out, you put out a That's wicked tweet today mm. in saying that moving forward, mm. there should be no reason why Anthony Martial mm. starts over Cavani. It and I don't get it. We're in Christmas now. Mm-hmm. One goal. 
people will say, oh, the last couple of games we've seen is link up players. Mm. Great. I'm sorry, but Cavani, people great link up play. Like, Cavani's got great like, hold up play. In the last great strength. Games. This yeah. is what I'm saying. Every time he comes on, instant impact. Every time he plays, there's a goal. Mm -hmm. And he's got that experience, I feel like, to just give the team that confidence. Right now, Martial, I feel like people are second guessing whether they should play yeah. him in, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because you know he's going to miss the easiest chance. The funniest thing is, why yeah, doesn't he start? The funniest thing about Man United is, or Man United fans, is two of our most criticized players depends on what side you're on because it's how my united fans move mm -hmm. are our most productive players rashford bruno. and bruno <laughs> are our most productive players yeah. they're carrying the club at the moment yeah and they're the most hated it's like i don't i don't really get what my united fans want they at hate the production moment. someone said well, listen when you look at it right what we say no no, no, no you, oh, yeah, not you hate yeah. production People hate production yeah like yeah, when yeah. you look at it right not you <laughs> this guy right. you, you know production you know production's getting you know egotistical you know they're feeling themselves too much but no, do you know just, what it is? Just yeah? pun the camera. No, but, yeah, but you know what it is? When you look at um, what is going on now, is which is making me laugh, is that United fans were so vocal against how rubbish Firmino is, how rubbish he is, how <sighs> rubbish he is, da, 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 da. Beautiful. and how yeah. not good, and Lacazette is um, this and that, he doesn't score enough goals, blah, 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 blah. Voila. We've got a number nine, he's played 10 games this season in the league, and he's got one goal. But anytime you talk about it, they'll say, no, no, you know what? You need to watch Man United and see play. how important he is to our link up play. So what Man United fans are now telling me is that we're content with our number nine scoring one goal because of link up play. His assists, he's got three assists, yeah? Not even big numbers. Bro. And forget about the numbers. Yes, I, I agree. Martial's link up play is probably better than any other nine that we have. But you can't be it's accepting that on. poor output. And one of my friends said, my United fans um, used to get onto Lukaku for not having enough link-up play, but scoring goals. And we we were we were angry at the fact that he hasn't got the link-up side. But now, You've my United fans opposite. are, we've completely gone the opposite. Yeah. We're okay now with Martial not scoring, but we love his link-up play. And which was more detrimental to the team? Exactly. Scoring it, it goals just doesn't make sense, As bro. I said, if you're a number nine, at the end of the day, Bread scoring and goals and that's, scoring. all and that that's matters. The thing is, yeah, it's not just like historically Man United having that number nine as well. For me, it's this is just poor by like United standards. Forget any normal Premier League standard. That is just woeful. The, if Ashley Barnes had this record, if McGoldrick had this bro, record, we'd be killing them I'm and cracking jokes. Them. But because it's Martial, as I said, if his name was Tony... Martin from Stockport, mm. we're killing him. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, we're, everybody lets him get away with it. And I cannot understand. Do you when, think when, it's because... And the, the thing is, is, I don't see him getting relegated to the bench and becoming this bench one because he's Oli's on his inflated get, salary. Oli's got to pull... Uh, Oli's got to make big calls. Yeah. And in the day. And Cavani is ready to The short start. term, yeah, he's, exactly. he's got to be the solution. I would rather see Cavani start the game and come off at this point, yeah, maybe if you want to talk about he's not fit or I don't really know, but I, Cavani takes good care of himself, mate. Like, yeah. I would rather see Cavani start and then come off if, if necessary. And by the way, I'm not saying Martial has to be benched, maybe go on the left wing. But as that number nine who we need to score goals at the moment, he's not delivering Unreliable. it. The, I don't see what's so hard about saying, listen, I'm going to pull this person out for a while. Or I'm going to put this person here. It doesn't, it, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. No one's saying Martial should get sold. No, no one's saying anything no, like that. But all it is, is that at the moment, he's not playing good enough to do anything. Like, Facts. people are trying... And I was like, listen, don't give me that. People are trying to give me today, because I said something about Martial, people were trying to give me like, nah, his overall play today was solid. No, it wasn't. Now what we're <laughs> starting to do is try and trick people into saying the eye test. The mediocre don't is now it. good. Yeah, you know I mean, don't try it. He was not good today. Yeah. And the Man United fans are, are starting to do this and it, it's getting sad, man. Like, I can't believe we're excusing one goal in 10 games or three in 15. That's poor, man. This is as a nine. But why do you think this it's, is, why do you think it's being fifth, done, though? Yeah. Is, is the what, question, why it's been done is because United's two best players, well, two most productive players. Last season. No, this season are very frustrating at the same oh, okay. time. Rashford will give you a goal, but then he's going to miss two now. Yeah. Bruno will give you a goal and assist, but he goes give away and gives for away the first the goal. goal yeah. That's the thing about it. We're, they are, Rashford and Bruno are very much, if they're having a bad game, everything the about world the club. is going to know they're having a bad game because mm -hmm. them man want the ball. They do, they do, <laughs> let, let's be honest, they do stupidity with it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Rashford will get a shoot from 30 yards and it might go way <laughs> over. Like, them man, but the thing is, what do you know about them two? They don't hide. Yeah, they're, they're they, ever You present. see Rashford and Bruno, they they're don't hide. Present. 
And that's why they're the biggest producers <laughs> on the pitch. That's why they're the, that's why you're they got dumb. the best production on the pitch. Well. You're a bad. What would you say? <laughs> so like kids stuff. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But like that is you're why. You're so childish. That is why they are the most productive players on the pitch because they don't hide. Take risks. Yeah. But they are the also most frustrating ones, which I understand. But so Man United fans are falling in love with the with the Van der Beek, you know, retention. Not not gonna put no goals yeah. or assists. Yeah. Just gonna keep the ball. Retention. Martial, he's gonna make it look pretty. Flick it round the corner and nah, more Van der Beek and put and put more no Van goals and assists. No, but this is what's happening, bro. Yeah. This is what's no. Happening. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But the I most think... productive players at our club are the two who are arguably the most, most frustrating, frustrating at the same time. Yeah. But you've got to take away it is. At the moment, they're carrying the football club. It comes club, back to what like I said to you yeah. at the beginning that, of Bruno's right. talisman, And Rashford is our star. I said it to you when you signed him like, this yeah. season. He's yeah. not that man like, take, take it or leave it. He may have a bad performance, but because of the way he plays, you have to take it. Like this guy, in terms of 2020, in terms of the Premier League, in terms of production, who is really talking to him in terms of what he's produced? It's been mad, yeah. He came to the league and started producing like a... A machine. That has seen that on Twitter. You man running with that now, yeah? Not like the way he um, <laughs> performs, but he serves, <laughs> <What is> it? <laughs> he serves, he serves his purpose. Bro. And sometimes, like, if you can make it work, then you can make it work. Listen, Bruno so, is just fantastic. Listen, I, I, I don't care. Yeah, he gave away the goal today. And Bruno, you can criticise him. That is perfectly fine. You can criticise him. Like people, yeah, what people get frustrated about is they feel that this person gets more criticism. Da, da, da. If this person happened, if he was the one that gave away the goal, whatever. Nobody's above criticism. At but the, listen, man. the simple thing is, exist as well. I said it to you guys earlier. I never watched Cantona play for Man United. Like this, other than Van Persie, if you're talking about impact signing, the best signing we've made, mate, in in yeah, I've ever seen. Decades. But in yeah. terms of like impact, it's the best signing that I've seen. Like instant impact, and I so I don't get how the fans are so fixated on his flaws to what he's actually giving us. What he's actually giving us, the goals, the assists, the the just mentality, the just, the just, the just, just the influence, just the influence. Yeah, 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 good shout. Yeah, good shout. He fair came enough. in and out the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I scored what, thirty goals had, the first season, I think. Bro, yeah, yeah, and I remember yeah. he had the big knee injury. Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's a good shout. Van Nistelrooy, Van is a good point. Let's. But anyway, it's the influence. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I hear what you're saying. I hear the point. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, if you let's 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 put it real. If you take Bruno out of United squad in 2020, boy. Boy, I just think if you boy, have a killer line, boy. you put Cavani there in the short term, get Martial out there. I think his fifth season now, 25, meant to be hitting your peak after your best season. That's the, uh, that's, that's the craziest that's, thing that's about That's the him, craziest bro. thing. for That he had his best season last year and yeah. he's now regressed. How and this, is, this that is what I don't get. And I, and so I get in previous years, thing. he was played out wide and people saying Lukaku, Zlatan mm. were all in the way, but... You've had the free run this year. Yeah. You've had the confidence. You've had the coaches backing. You've had the big contract. Like, there's no more excuses for Martial to not turn up anymore. That's and true. I feel like now, if he becomes a off the bench impact player, he only has himself to blame. And it's now up to him to prove himself from that position, if that mm. makes sense. Like, um, you, you know, similar to like how Dele Alli's trying to work his way back in, you now have to work your way back in to get that number nine mm. shirt. Otherwise, go play on the wings the or just come be like, a part off the mate, bench. Mate, mate, you can check, check how many. How many goals has um, Rashford got this season? This and season, what makes yeah. me laugh is I'm not even trying to do a Rashford read with Martial. I don't really care what, about in the Premier League? that type of stuff. No, it all, all comps, all comps. I think in Premier League he's got six, I think. Yeah, he's got six in yeah. the Prem. What's it all comps? And he's got six in the Champions League. So he's got about okay, 12, yeah. He's got 12 goals, yeah. We're now starting to do a situation where it's like United fans are starting to come to the realisation that, okay, maybe Martial shouldn't be the nine. Let's put him left wing. And basically say bench Rashford. I'm like, <laughs> why can't Rashford be in the line? <laughs> no, not even, not even that. Why are you trying to? Now you're trying to move no, the 13 player. Still, Thirteen yeah. goals, you're scoring. Thirteen goals before the before Christmas, yeah, and or, or just after Christmas, and you're trying to now move him out of yeah. position because Martial is failing in his in his objective yeah. of what you guys have all told me is his best position in the nine. There's no surprise. Let's be honest. There's no real surprise. Oli wanted Haaland for a reason. You know, the only saving That's grace I'll say. say for Martial is if we look at last year, after boxing, there was at the Newcastle fixture. He picked up. That's when he picked up, he I picked think, two thirds of his goals yeah, for the end of the season. Bro, so unless that, something mate? magical He's like not, that happens what, now. It's not like Harry Kane in August kind of thing. Like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> mate, when, hey, when, not when everybody can be King. Day, you got listen. one Premier League goal. Like, hey, it is. Because this time last year, he had about, I think, he had a seven or eight. Yeah. He's having a complete bear. He's got link up play. You didn't know Link I want to touch on something court. before we finish off and stuff, though, right? Go on. This is um about Liverpool, right? 
I want to know. See, we talk about players and how good players are and the systems and all these. Like, well, the players and this person, the best in their position, this person, the best in the world. When are we going to address that Fabinho is paying better as a centre back this season than Van Dijk was last season? Listen, oh relax. Not relax. the player whoa, whoa, of the year whoa, 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 for him. Not whoa, whoa, the player whoa, whoa, of the year. That was the season before. Last no, season, Van Dijk was season, good. He was, he was, he was even calm. Last he was good. He was solid. He was good. Please respect Van Dijk. He was good. He Please, was good. He wasn't. He wasn't as good. good. Fabinho is amazing. And the thing is, is I want to give Fabinho praise. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait. I want to give Fabinho. Let's let's give Fabinho praise without shitting on others. Let's do that. Let's do that. Can we do that? Can we say he's been equally as good? He's would, playing fantastic. Listen, he's Fabinho been amazing. Playing fantastic. He's been system. amazing, but I, I don't even want to compare because yeah. Fabinho, I just want to give him credit because at Monaco, yeah, people forget he was a quality right back. Yeah, Come Liverpool, that. DM, yeah. Yeah. taking Killed that it. shot. Centre back, like this Killed guy it. is an amazing footballer. Let's so Liverpool's form has picked up without Van Dijk. Uh, well, listen, when Van Dijk quality. was in the side, they were When you've got a like system Greenish, like that in place, listen. Hey, that's what I'm going to say. Quality, work Worth of pounds. What, so Worth a pounds. It's a system, it's a system well, thing, bro. It's a system. And the so thing is, is Van Dijk's quality no, was pushing. Van Dijk's quality and made that big difference when they came in when their defense was lacking. Would Liverpool win now, the league without Van Dijk? They still could. Will they? Win because the, league, the rest yeah? of the league is so you awful reckon? as well. Uh, now it's Don't get league. it twisted. Mm. What? Is it not weak oh, era? Just is it not weak era? Stop out. that! You're maybe trying to run this Van Dyke agenda. Stop it! I don't think respect for me, no respect for Liverpool, bro. The exact same if you job. said, if you told me this, this guy, season before when Van Dyke was there because he was shameless. seven, no, but that's you're so thing. shameless. You were gonna say patchy start to the season. I give you that. I've seen that. I've seen. Who was inside? When did it pick up? I've seen Liverpool fans say the comparison between this season. I said this season now. Okay, but if you're comparing to previous seasons, I think that's a bit. Maybe yeah, a bit bro, my Lee Van Dyke team. At the moment, Van Dyke is saying the same kind of level. I think that's it's a bit I'm premature. Saying. If you're talking about this season before the injury, maybe, but previous seasons. He's always got to say something premature. crazy every week. How is it? that crazy? That Fabinho is saying. Fabinho's done wicked. Level, but there's bro. no need to compare for me. That's the thing. There is absolutely uh, no need. There's no benefit. There's no negative. At the moment, he is. What? Because w- these days they call Varane world well class. So, I mean, v- Varane, 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 first and foremost, Varane. every week butchering again, names. Again, <laughs> every week. Him. Again, I spared him when he tried to say something last. <laughs> Lafferty! Sp- no, 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 no. <laughs> Aye, that was quality. Earlier, and I spared him. <laughs> you forgot again, it. You forgot it. But you forgot it. We're going to watch the tape. 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 Varane, bro. I spared him. Varane hype. Champion of the week. Arsenal. Boy, listen. Champ of the week, Arsenal. Arsenal, hundred percent, hundred. That performance Why? was dominating. Duds, Chelsea. I think that's Champ of the week. Villa, mate, winning three 0 with ten men. Villa. Yeah, bro, hundred percent. That's mm. what I was gonna say. Villa. Ten Shout men, Villa, one nil up at the time as well. That's Easily your boy. That's your boy getting scored. Rock, Roy, 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 Roy yeah, Hobson. Yeah, that's your boy getting scored <laughs> against my boys. <laughs> 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 that's the thing. I was against trying to add him today. I could tell shameless. he was happy either way. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're shameless. Come on, Honestly, man. Like, um, like villains. Is it El Ghazi? Yeah, he's yeah, he's frustrating, he just... mate. He's frustrating, but yeah, I think I was he's going to say, for the way he bounced back. Last week, he scored a tap in and a penalty. Where's Box? Wait until we get Box back. It's Pete. Wait until we get we? Bart's You're not back. We. I'm not having Wait this until we get Bart's There's no That's just another episode. <laughs> we'll be back on Thursday. Thursday. No, it's coming out on Thursday. Thursday. Production Thursday morning. Are we not putting on Wednesday? Yeah, we'll be back Whenever. on Thursday we'll morning. Whenever, we'll see, we'll see. Listen, we'll see. send us in the thoughts. Hit us up. Like. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Might even shut off before we finished you. <laughs> <laughs>